Yeah. Um, I believe this is our uh, 11th, or this is our 12th, 12th, uh, 12th, <laughs> uh, 12th session, um, and it's a 12 month period. Uh, I think we did pretty well, I think. Uh, the intention for this evening, I'll read again. Um, you'll have to bear with me, I forgot my. Uh, <laughs> it's the second time I've done it's this. <laughs> Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public continuance of a public hearing in the Great Room at Pleasant Street Center, 49 Pleasant Street, Mass, uh, Reading, Mass, on Thursday, February 28, 2019, at 7 p.m. on the petition of Eaton Lakeview Development, LLC, who seeks a comprehensive permit to develop 86 units of rental housing on 4.33 acres of land that is partially in residential zone and partially in an industrial zone under the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40B, Section 20 through 23, with waivers from the zoning requirements on the property comprising six parcels known as Zero Lake Street and so forth and so on. Um, all the way through, again, I'm not going to read all the parcels. I'm sorry. Um, I, you said 86 units of rental. I don't think that's what that is. Yes, I know that. Yeah, this was the original 86, notice. 86 units. I think that was not the way it was. It was 86 units. But, yeah. Um, of housing. It, it is. It's in the previous one. It's wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. He said also 86 units of residential. I'm, I caught it at the same time you did. Okay. Um, the subject matter um, for this evening is to review um, again uh, one last time. Well, I shouldn't say one last time. Um, any adjustments to the comprehensive permit draft that we had in front of us? I think this is our fourth or fifth draft. Uh, we've gone through this. A number of staff members have met with the development team uh, and with uh, town council. Um, so that we've been able to put this together, I think, with minor modifications, I, but I think we're pretty close to it now. So I'm going to ask first, um, as we always do, ask the petitioner, in this, this particular case, Ted, if you had anything that uh, you saw on the final draft that had concerns for you or... Um, no, Mr. Chairman, the, the draft, uh, uh, Gene and Andrew have done an excellent job of capturing, uh, you know, the comments that have been made uh, uh, by Boreana and her, and her group and our comments. So the draft that you have, which is the latest draft, and I'll let Andrew perhaps, you know, go through those changes with you. They are all consistent with uh, the discussions that we've had. Uh, spent a great deal of time tweaking the language. Mm -hmm. So we're, we have no further comment on on the decision that I believe uh, Andrew has, has circulated, Andrew and Gene. Okay. Um, we also, um, the board at the, our last meeting, um, asked, we asked ourselves if they based on anything in the draft that uh, they wanted to bring forward to I do so by uh, this past Monday, um, which I know a couple of members of the board did. Um, so I'll ask Andrew if uh, he would highlight the uh, the changes that we have made to this point. For sure. So I'd like to start by thanking you all for coming, and thank you to the applicants. It's been a pleasure to work with, and they've worked very well with us and the neighborhood. It's been quite a good process to see and be a part of. So at our last meeting, we reviewed some revised plans. The applicants were able to create some additional parking by converting some regular spaces into compact spaces. So they now have 104 total spaces on lot B, which is the rental unit side. Uh, they also edited the architectural plans to highlight where the affordable units would be, and that has been included. Um, 
and comments at the last meeting and since then have included just tweaking language in the waiver list to include references to site plan pages, which the applicants have done. Uh, tweaks to the operations and maintenance plan to revise some language on visitor parking, which they did and we are happy with. Um, we also received our final letter from Niche Engineering, who had no more outstanding concerns. And since then, we have gotten input on the draft decision. Public safety provided some input on the police detail language. We were able to work with the applicants on revising the rooftop mechanics language, and that was explained a bit better. Um, we were notified and told that the new compact spaces that the applicants have created will have to be signed and or striped to be marked as such. And we also provided time frames for the loading operations in the draft decision. So um, we'd like to proceed with that decision and have the board uh, give any further comments and perhaps public comments as well. And then we are hoping tonight to close the public hearing, issue a vote, and get this underway. Okay. So does the board have any other feedback on the decision that they'd like to include? Well, let's, next, next issue. Mm -hmm. um, Gene, I'm going to ask you first, did you have anything um, further that you wanted to make mention of? No, I just want to, again, echo what Andrew said. Thank you, everybody, for um, the professionalism and um, the diligence and hard work and uh, the spirit of collaboration among all the parties. I think that's what made this successful and most appreciated. All set. So I'll now go to the board. Um, I know Bob and Sai had uh, put forth a few things. I think you heard um, adjustments to that as Andrew went through. Is there anything that uh, I'll just go down the down the line? Side, do you have anything else? That Comments I had have been uh, considered and factored in, and I am have no no comment whatsoever on what the draft says today. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm um, uh, likewise like Cy. I had a few comments. Some of them were grammatical. Some of them were questionable. And uh, I went over them with Andrew. We went back and forth with some emails, and uh, everything's been taken care of satisfactorily, as far as I can see. Okay. And uh, I'm uh, comfortable with the decision as written. Nick. Yeah. Yep. I am also comfortable with the decision. I don't have any uh, concerns or comments. Sure. No issues. Okay. I had one that um, I don't know if it's a correction or um, I think it's on page 10. Uh, page 10, um, the uh, parking uh, E down at the bottom, halfway to that paragraph. Uh, surface parking spaces on lot B are proposed to be 9 by 18 with 27 uh, 8 by 18 compact spaces and 7 van accessible 8 by 18 handicap. Um, is, does that meet um, a ADA requirements? Uh, I'll, I'll say that again. Turn it over to Steve. Yeah, what was the mention? I'm sorry. ADA. Oh, here, no, show it here. Yeah. This is the uh, van accessible handicap. Are those? No. Is that correct? No, we have to. It would be nine. That's, that's just nine. Nine. Yes, it should be a same size parking space. Are they all van accessible? Because don't van accessibles need striping? They on need the van accessible would be um, typical parking space. Plus, correct, they, they okay. have to be right next to the five foot. Great, five and they're all feet. stripes like that. Well, I'm trying to think now. There's, because it happens on both sides, you can use one on either side. So mm -hmm. one, we'd have to look at the plan, but I think mm -hmm. they're going. Okay. So at least there's one, two, three, there's at least six of them. Okay. In my head, like that, yeah. 
Okay, so that's a correct. Okay. Is that reflected now in the uh, actual um, control documents? Yeah. You want to pull it up yeah. Is it nine spaces? That's nine. Nine. Seven, seven van accessible, nine, nine by eight. Seven van accessible, nine seven by eight. Seven van accessible, nine yeah. by eight. Seven van accessible, Seven quantity measuring nine by eight. Can you bring up the, the sheet five, C5 with one? Sorry, I'm just going to zoom in a little. Yeah, so there's one there. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven there quantity. Seven. There's seven quantity, okay. Nine by eight. So the one change, nine by eighteen okay. rather than eight by eight. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, uh that more engineering police and spiragis. Uh, I worked on the project. Do those spaces are eight by eighteen, which require a code. Do you have any Space in a in a big foot. Okay. So oh, okay. it's very full being accessible. So they're all being accessible. So the so, so it's correct as so written. It's, it's correct as it's oh, okay. Okay. But usually the van accessible allows not only the nine by eighteen but the additional um, spaces on the side for van entry and, and exits, right? Yes. And that would be on the plan, and, right? And that would be on the plan. As you mentioned the so the space can be used by both your space. Okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's five, six. I think there's two and two, right? Two, four. So it's six on lot B and one on lot A. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe I misspoke. Perhaps the spaces are nine. Okay. I think they're drawn as nine. There's only requirement. Okay. 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 So, so we'll go back to nine. Yep. So I'll reword that to say lot B has six, six van accessibles while lot A has one, one van accessible. And they all measure nine by 18. Yeah. Uh, Gene brought up a good point. Uh, these these are all code reviewed anyways, uh, but because it's part of the the decision and part of the you might say contract, it's good to get it in there and get it correct the first time. Around. Okay. And. The other thing that I wanted to propose um, is on page 18, I'm sorry, page 19, starts on 18, and that's the Walker's Book Drive Road and Intersection Analysis and Redesign. Um, the funds for the, this analysis, which is on the bottom of 18, the funds for this analysis shall be provided prior to the issuance of the first building permit for the project and it's anticipated that the analysis shall be completed prior to the issuance of the final certificate of occupancy for the project. And I'm asking the board what it thinks about uh, an addition to that. And I'll just read it and I'll, if it's not I'm clear, sorry, Mr. Chair, where, where are you reading from? Paragraph 13. Paragraph 13, but it appears on page 19. The pages okay. might be different from different okay. versions. Mm -hmm. The desktop version. I got 19 yeah. now, so I might have had some funky. No, no, no. Don't I? Let, let okay. 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 And it, at the end of the, uh, the occupancy for the project, um, I would like to insert, if it's appropriate, and which would subsequently trigger 
the hearing process initiated by the town's road commissioners seeking solutions to the traffic areas, including the Lakeview slash John Street slash General Way slash Walker's Brook slash Washington Street intersection. I mean, that's part of the process anyway. Yeah, it's uh, regulatory. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. As the roadway commissioners. Because I think at the end of that, next sentence says, if it's not done in five years, the applicant's going to receive their money back again. Well, there's no question that that's going to be done. And the next process to that, after the analysis is completed, is that the road commissioners would probably establish hearings to go over the results of that and decide what, what to do. But I think in putting it in, it all just completes the cycle. I don't know how, I'll ask the board how it feels first and then I'll come back to you. So to my question is, it's already been completed. It's a serious thing that has to be reporting and not to our versus. It is anticipated that the amount is should be completed prior to the anticipated. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I read it, I didn't hear you say it. Okay. That's the matter. I'm just seeking the completion of the cycle. Um, I personally don't have any problem with the way it's written right now, and I wouldn't have any objection if it went that way either. But I frankly think it's. Necessary. Yeah, I, I'm comfortable with the way it's written now, and uh, I don't think we really need an addition. But yet, if it's uh, if it's something that uh, both parties think is is fine, I I will go along with it. Yeah, Nick. Um, I guess it would depend on when the town would need these matching funds. Um, they think the town will be ready before the applicant can provide the funds. Then then I think it should be changed, but. I think the timing is okay in this. Well, the timing would probably be somewhere between a year and a half and two years. Uh, before we get to that point, I'm just looking down the road. Okay. Eric? I think it's probably fine as is if, if that whole process is going to unfold automatically anyway. Okay. Well, then I would ask Ted. Yeah, I, I, we don't have a problem with it. I mean, that's the normal sequence anyhow. I think uh, Guy's concerned. Now that he sees the word anticipated, yeah. he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remove that word, and the sentence means all different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that's the that's the only additions or uh, corrections that I had, um, and I just throw that out there. I'll ask Keen um, and Andrew what their thoughts are. Keep it simple. <laughs> yes. Okay. I agree. <laughs> okay. Well, then if the board is all right with that, we'll yeah. just remove yeah. that. I'll just take that off. I, I would agree. Keep it as yes. concise as you can get it. Okay. Uh, then I would open up to uh, the public sector. Um, before you do that, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to report one other thing. Uh, you know, we have to get the stated in here final approval from uh, Mass Housing. It's part of the exactly. project as a subsidizing agency. And sometimes uh, what happens if decision is, is rendered by a ZBA, and then the decision goes to Mass Housing, and they don't like something in it mm -hmm. because it's within their purview. Uh, so what I did here is I sent the draft decision to Mass Housing to Greg Watson in advance, and he didn't have any comments. So, so that's good. Oh, that's <laughs> so that that's kind of a, that's a plus. Good a idea. Pat on the back to 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 staff and and, and to you folks that uh, I've never seen one where they didn't have at least one comment. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Okay, they'll probably use this as a model for the future. <laughs> No. Uh, any other comments uh, from the public sector? I just want to thank the board for allowing us to be uh, 
participant in this in the proceedings, and I want to thank you for trying to accommodate the neighborhood and listening to us, giving us a forum, give, allowing us to present. Uh, like yeah. so, so thank you. I, I know it's not the normal process, so it's appreciated. Really. So thank you for that. I, I believe it's a better project for it. It, it, it is appreciated. I also want to thank town staff like John and Andrew. They've been so helpful. Like uh, I feel that uh, they were really supportive of us as well. And I hope we keep working well together on the traffic and the intersection because Absolutely. that still needs to happen and yeah. it's important. So I hope that the collaboration keeps going. And then I want to also mention the applicant, uh, like uh, the team. Like they spend the time, they talk to us and uh, make the major redesign and I believe it's for the better. It's better for your project, better for the neighborhood. Uh, we, uh, like, uh, we're, we're grateful and we're, we're happy that we found the collaborative uh, relationship and uh, I, I hope we keep communicating during the, I know, the building and uh, we, we try to like uh, collaborative and facilitative. So I ultimately hope it makes this neighborhood better. It's not. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah. And thank you, Barry, for being here. Barry's been the select board member who's been most often with us. And, uh, so thank you for being involved. Uh, so I just have one question. <laughs> that I, I brought up the stairs last time. And, uh, is that new language? Regarding? Yes, actually. Sorry, I did not mention that. So that was in the adoption of the when the town goes through the process to adopt the street and that language was added that the staircase will be removed upon that in town review. OK, great. OK. We have volunteers who <coughs> yeah. 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 I think it would be safer for everybody. Yeah. Actually, um, maybe you can, if you don't, doesn't happen for whatever, maybe you can put sides by the property. I don't know, something. Public property benefits. No, but I don't know, outside the there will be Yeah, yeah, it's wherever it falls. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not. I've looked at that. But. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody else from the public sector who would like to speak? Seeing none, I would have to echo um, the words of Moriana, Gene, uh, and Andrew. Um, I've said I think this is my sixth or my seventh uh, 40B, um, and. Um, I would have to say that this is the most collaborative and cooperative um, of the ones that I've been part of. Um, I believe that working together as we have in this, it is never easy, never ever easy. However, I think we were able to come together and come up with the adjustments uh, to the project that, that is probably best for both the neighborhood and for the community of Reading. Um, and I thank everybody who was part of that uh, in the community who are not necessarily here tonight and Ted and his team uh, for being so cooperative as we went through this. Um, the rest of it, I mean, this is just the beginning. As Ted said, we've apparently passed one other hurdle in that is if it's mass housing has already gone, didn't have a comment on it, that's a plus, so we can move that much faster through. But I know there's code reviews, there's all kinds of things to be done. Ted, you know, your team is going to be working with staff on a regular basis. Um, so I think in, the, in terms of the community, uh, if you, if the community sees something that is, that is going on, you know the process. You know you have to contact in writing in some form. I should leave that up to Gene, but mm -hmm. in some form of something that you believe is an issue, and it'll be resolved. 
that, that should not be a problem at all. Contact counsel. That's what not the board. Yeah, the, if there are anything anything going forward, we're always happy to um, try and coordinate and be the. Um, so, so can the community find out when it starts or, I don't know, schedule? I just don't know. When, when will it like, start? Yeah, like well, we the have to get the final approval from yeah. Mass Housing. That probably will take two or three months. And then we got to we actually have to do, you know, detailed construction. So I'll leave so that to guy as to when, when are you anticipating the uh, start? <laughs> I'd like to move real fast on text timeline, but I'm not going to say. All right. Uh, I don't know for sure, but we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. You have my phone number. Okay. Feel free to call me, and I'll, I'll fill you in as I can if I don't proactively reach out. Okay. We're open. Yeah, Mr. Chair, if I could just make a request. I mean, obviously, it's got to go full of permits and everything, but it may be a good idea. I know sort of a model of what we're going to be discussing about what sort of the best practices as projects go from here to shovels in the ground, especially with communications with neighbors and expectations of what of what folks can expect. Is that maybe when you're ready to go, when you get the permits that maybe pull a neighborhood meeting together, you know, these are, to have folks review the final plans, um, whether that's in the neighborhood itself or one of the town hall buildings, just to kind of you know, give folks a heads up that this is going to be happening and then perhaps you know periodic but not you know daily briefings um, updates on you know if there's going to be like a major road closure or there's going to be blasting or there's going to be you know just something where there's some kind of a communication process set up as the project goes forward you know folks are you know when they're forewarned and something happens they're a lot more amenable than if they are surprised. Right. So that's that's the only thing that I would request of the, of the, the developers to kind of, you know, just look like anything else, just you know, be a good neighbor. Right. You know, and Communication and barriers are perfect. perfect. Yeah. You know, one of the other projects, just to give an example, I, I'm not sure they how well they maintained it, but they set up kind of a website. You know, uh, here's the schedule, here's, you know, and obviously I know with construction, it's got to change all the time, but at least there's something where people can go to where it's, mon you know, monitored place that people you know, email or whatever you know just to kind of facilitate that because um, when that happens um, it's just things go a lot so that's just something to, something to keep in mind very good suggestion Gene without that only that small change um, do we need to um, Refer the condition of the change, but be prepared to vote in the plan this evening and stamp. Uh, I would certainly would like, if we can, to stamp in the, the control document because that seems to have been completed. Uh, but the draft decision itself, do we need to run that by city, uh, town council one more time? It wouldn't be a bad idea just to make sure after all this work that we have the final blessings of town, of town council. Um, and you're meeting next week, right? Yes, we are. So um, I can't imagine this would be very involved in terms of turnaround time. Uh, just to check that last box. Um, but you could certainly decide as a board if you want to take the vote tonight. It's up to you. Um. How does the board feel? Um, I don't have a problem uh, subject to if we agree yeah. it on it this yeah, evening uh, and then actually sign it uh, next week because we're meeting on Wednesday yeah, so that's, next yeah, week anyway. Uh, that's fine for me. Uh, I, I just have a technical question and it's maybe the attorneys would uh, tell me or, or Gene or Andrew. Uh, if we make a decision tonight, is this the time the decision is made? It's logged in as February 28th, or is it when we sign the decision? It would be next week, uh, March 6th. So when when does it take effect, the decision? Uh, I think day? when it's signed. I, that's what I would think. Uh, that's what I don't know 100%, but I'm, 
book there. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah. And it's not effective until it's filed. So, with we'll, right. with any of yeah. So we could we could make a decision tonight, but sign it next week, and that's when it'll be effective, I guess. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, yeah. And then and then give it to town clerk, which would make it official. So. Right. 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 Now, how does that put us? I know uh, we've gone beyond the twenty third of February. I don't think that shouldn't say that yeah, but it's not an issue no. it's more well, we we still have the time factor uh, that you gave us the extension right. yeah right. but in terms of right. the um, safe harbor safe harbor right. where does that leave us we're going to apply for a second safe harbor okay. yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean this will yeah. we're going to do both we're going to do both. We're going to ask the state to recognize that we are over the 10 percent, and we're going to ask for the one-year safe harbor. So that is, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. So if we are over the 10 percent, then the safe harbor is moved, then, right? Or is that is that? Oh, <laughs> the exciting world of safe harbor. Um, <laughs> is it required, or does the 10 percent give us sort of a permanent safe harbor? Nothing in the world of affordable housing is permanent. <laughs> So we like the idea of having what we believe is the 10%, but we also like the idea of having the safe harbor should projects be delayed, uh, ensnared in yeah, some sense. kind of a challenge or some other factor plan that we can't even predict at this point. Yeah. The safe harbor is the insurance policy. Development system. So you got two shots at it. Yeah. So. Mm. That makes sense. We love you guys, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> the world of affordable housing. <laughs> Besides, it's a. Uh, this official document signed by the state, and that's the insurance policy. It's signed by somebody. So. Um, then, if there is. Nothing else. I'll just go down the, the, the board. Um, if, if, if you're satisfied with making perhaps a decision this evening, uh, we'll take the vote and we'll actually sign it next uh, Wednesday when we're in session for three other cases. Uh, and we can do that probably at the very beginning of the session to get it done. And sign. Yeah. I recommend we vote tonight. Okay. Yeah. I, I go on. We'll make the decision tonight. We'll vote on it. Okay, I'll accept the motion then to accept the subject matter. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Finally, <laughs> um, motion to. Uh, at this point, I, I will see no other comments mm -hmm. being made. I will close the public hearing on the subject matter of this 40B application. Um, now I will go and accept the. That, that, Mr. Chairman, that ought to be by motion and pass to make close the public hearing. Yeah, somebody has to make a motion. Somebody ought to make a motion, second it, and then the board should vote to close the public hearing. Okay. <clears throat> I move to close the public hearing this evening. Have a second. Second. All in favor? 5 zero, zero. Now accept the motion to accept <laughs> or to. Accept as the decision and as the description as amended and subject to um, town council's final approval. Uh, the decision that is given to us this evening. Fine, I'll uh, I'll make that motion, John. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. <coughs> Any questions? No questions. All in favor? Five zero zero. Dunson. So I, I would like to say thank you, uh, first of all, to the neighbors of Coriana for their really helpful input in making this happen. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to work with you. And I'd like to compliment the staff, and Gene and uh, and Andrew for the excellent job that they've done throughout. Very, very detail-oriented, which is the way it should be. And most importantly, I'd like to thank members of the, of the board for uh, the way you've handled uh, the whole process, your professionalism, your expertise, and your objectivity. It's, it's been a, a real pleasure to work with you. I, uh, I can't think 
of, of another boy that you know, has done the job that you folks have done. Taking care of uh, the community, protecting the neighbors, and giving a, the opportunity for affordable housing. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely let the state. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Ted. Um, is there any other business before the board this evening? Seeing none, I'll accept the motion. I move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? No discussion. All approved? Motion by Bob. All right.